Hi everyone, um, my name is Haley Friedman and I'm the co-founder of Growth Marketing Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to create an automated webinar using EverWebinar. In the last video, I showed you how to create a live webinar using Webinar Jam. But if you purchase both tools, you can then take that recorded webinar that you made on Webinar Jam and you can upload it to EverWebinar and create an automated webinar. And what does that mean? An, auto an automated webinar means that you can create a live environment or an environment that feels live, but it's actually using a webinar you've recorded in the past. So you don't have to keep creating, recreating live webinars every time for your customers. You can actually create an automated webinar, um, do it one time, and use it over and over and over again in the future. So every webinar is a tool that's absolutely blowing my mind with what it's capable of. And um, I'm super excited to show you how to use it. So it's really easy. Like I said, you um, can use a recorded webinar from Webinar Jam. So you just click on this tab right here to create a new webinar. And um, so you have to go through each of these steps to configure it. It really is super easy. And if you get hung up at all, there's these little video help tips every single step of the way. So the first thing you need to do is um, find the source for your evergreen webinar. So you can either upload an external video file, so it could be any video recording that you have, or you can use a previous webinar jam live session, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select one that I've done in the past. So I did a, a webinar about Messenger, Facebook Messenger chatbots. Um, so I'm just going to upload that video from this date and use that as the video for the automated webinar. Um, the next step is to give your webinar a name. So it's just it's actually auto auto update updated every field with the same fields that I used for the webinar jam, which is really easy. But if you wanted to edit it and change it, you can. Um, you can decide whether or not you want to list it on the webinars on demand portal, which is a public directory. Um, I choose not to, but you always can if you want more viewers. And at after editing each section, you need to click confirm before moving on to the next section. So you can edit the webinar presenters. In my webinar, I had three presenters, but um, I will leave those as is for now. Click next. Um, webinar schedules. So this is the fun part. So you can actually decide to have this webinar available every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So you can just have this webinar automatically running every Tuesday so that when people register, they can, they can click. Or you can have it run every day at 1 p.m. Um, and you, you don't have to use your own time zone. So my time zone is Pacific time, but you can actually click so that it uses the user's own time zone. So if you want the webinar to always go on at one o'clock for that user, whether they're in New York or California, you can do that. Um, and then you can let people wa either watch your replay or not enable it. And you can use this really awesome feature called just-in-time schedule. So when you enable the just-in-time schedule, it means someone might be on your site and um, it'll pop up and say like, hey, this a webinar, you're just in time, this webinar is about to start in 15 minutes, no matter what. So they feel like they don't need to wait, they can actually watch the, the live webinar right away. Um, so that can actually increase the conversion rate of people who end up watching your webinar. Um, and then you can, so even though you're, you may be having your webinar go live every day at 1 p.m., obviously you don't want to do that on Christmas, or people might realize that this is, um, not live, and they might be confused. So you can block special holidays if you want to make sure that the webinar is not running on those days. Click confirm, move to the next part. So there are templates here for you to use for the registration page. You can leave the default or you can um, pick one of the options that they give you and you can customize your landing page. I typically 
just grab one that's already you, already in here, but you can actually edit it. You can change the color of buttons. You can change words, um, stuff like that. So I'm going to leave that. Confirm. Um, you can change the registration form fields if you want to gather any more information than just their name and email. You can add fields there. You can charge for the webinar or you can add a password protection to the webinar. Um, webinar notifications in here. So anytime someone registers for your webinar, you can have it email them or even text message them to um, welcome them, to remind them 24 hours before or 15 minutes before about the webinar. And then you can also have it send them an email after the webinar saying, hey, here's the replay. Um, check it out if you want to watch it. So the all the default settings work perfectly in here. I don't I rarely edit them, but right now only the um, welcome message and last reminder emails are happening. So if you want to add other emails, you just have to click add email. I'm gonna confirm that. Integrations, I don't use this section a whole lot, um, but if you wanted to send emails from your own email provider like MailChimp, you can integrate your email provider in here. I just use the one that comes with EverWebinar. You can also embed your affiliate link if you're an EverWebinar affiliate like I am. Um, so you can just add your affiliate link here and then anytime someone clicks on the EverWebinar um, logo, and if they decide they want to purchase this awesome tool, then you'll get paid. So you can always become a, an affiliate for this tool. Um, integrate a third-party tracking system. If you use the EverWebinar email system and you want to track it more closely, you can add your own tracking system. I usually don't. Um, and you can customize your thank you page. So after someone registers for the webinar, they'll land on this default page, but you can feel free to edit it. It says, congratulations, you've been registered. It tells them the title and the date and, and the link that they can click to join later on. And survey your registrants if you want to ask more questions about, you know, what, what company they're from or what their goals are in watching your webinar, you can ask them more questions with a survey. Um, okay, so this is the live tab and this is where it gets really fun because you actually, with this automated webinar, kind of the purpose is to make it feel like a live environment for everyone who's inside the webinar, even though it's just a recorded webinar. So you can actually have these webinars running all day, all night, all the time. You can be selling your product while you sleep. The webinar is doing the work for you. It's like having a 24 hour salesperson. So um, you can customize the countdown page that people land on when um, they're waiting for your webinar to begin. So you can add more information on there while you have them captive in this room. You know, the webinar is starting in a couple minutes and you can you can add stuff to this page. I usually just leave the default. Um, you can then, you can pre-configure polls. So if you wanted to poll the attendees at a given time, you can add a poll, you can ask questions um, to people and set that up. You, right here is the live chat box. You have a couple of options. So this is a recorded webinar. You're not gonna be, most of the time you probably won't be there to engage in the live chat if people are watching this automated webinar on their own time, on their own schedule. So you can disable the chat box and make it so that people can't ask questions. Or you can enable a live chat, um, but by doing so, you can actually, you can create messages that come from fake people at certain times throughout the webinar so that the live chat looks like it's having a live conversation. So say at minute one and 11 seconds, John says, you know, I have a question. And then at minute two and three, two and three seconds, Mary says, you know, um, what about this feature? And so you can kind of create, you can pre-plan a conversation to happen and like you can go in and answer the questions too and you can create an entire conversation that's happening in the live chat even though it's not real and it's not happening in live in in real time it's a great pretty crazy feature and then this is another option just displaying a question box so it won't completely disable the live chat it'll say like you can ask us a question 
um, and click here and send it and it'll just send you an email that someone in the webinar had a question. You can follow up via email, which is another good option. And then <laughs> feedback flow announcements. You can also add other announcements or messages within the, the live chat box. You can add product offers. This is one of my favorite favorite things. So, um, you know, in your webinar, you're likely selling something to your customers and you want to create a call to action so that you can send them to your website to go make a purchase. So you can decide, you know, at minute 10, I want to have this, this offer appear and I want it to be a countdown. So the offer ends, you know, at minute 15. So it's only going to be available for five minutes and there'll be a countdown to create urgency. The name of the offer is like, go um, get a try ever webinar for $1. That could be the offer. Oh, that's sorry, that's the name. I just make the name and the offer headline the same. Try ever webinar for $1. You can add an image here. You can say the best automated webinar tool in the world and text in the button, try it for a dollar. Then you'd add a link to send someone to the site to go make the purchase. If you wanna apply urgency, you can have that countdown. You can have a five minute countdown. So you can plan when this offer will pop up within the live chat for your registrants. Um, you can create opportunities to redirect people to another site at certain times. You can create little sticky messages that will just like pop up within the chat. Oh, this is one of my favorites, so I'm going to go in here and show you this. You can display the number of, you can decide if you want to display the number of attendees. So you can either not display how many attendees are there at all, or you can create a fixed number of attendees. So you can say like, um, I want my webinar to have 150 attendees. And remember, this is completely automated. So you're, you're creating a false live environment. So these are not real numbers. So you can even create a dynamic, a, a number of dynamic attendees. So let's say I want every time someone's inside my webinar, I want it to feel like there are 456 people in the webinar and since it's a dynamic number it's gonna that number is gonna change as if people are actually going inside into and out of the webinar um, so even if that person is the only person registered for the webinar and they're watching it themselves it's gonna look like there's around 450 people other people in the webinar so they're gonna be like wow this is this company is legit look how many people are watching this webinar um, whether or not that's actually true which is Kind of crazy, but it definitely creates, um, it definitely elevates the experience for the person watching the webinar. These live sales alerts are another one of my favorite features. So what it does is you, at a certain minute and seconds, and you can decide exactly when you want this to happen in the webinar, you can say that, you know, Joe, um, and then you just type in the name of the product, so ever webinar. And it'll, so a little alert will pop up and say, Joe just purchased ever webinar. And then at a, later on, you can add more sales alerts, but 10 seconds. So you can add it and then you can add more people and more sales alerts so that like while the person's watching the webinar, these little ding little messages keep coming up saying, you know, so-and-so just made a purchase, so-and-so just made a purchase. And it kind of creates that urgency or that FOMO. Um, people don't want to miss out. They also want to buy the product too. It's another powerful tool. Um, and then you can share files through the webinar as well. Um, here you can have an, a webinar replay page. You can have the webinar replay page expire, have an expiration date so that people feel like they need to watch it sooner because it's going to expire. Um, and you can allow people to submit questions through the replay page or not. And that's an option for you. And then you're finished. So um, the next thing is to just go back to your dashboard. 
right here is the where like in the my webinars tab you see like that my webinar is here um, it's gonna go live every Tuesday at 2 p.m. and every day at 1 p.m. so when someone goes to register they're gonna have a couple of options so let's say it's Monday and I click on the link and I land on the landing page to go sign up for this webinar I'm going to have a couple of options since it's Monday I'm gonna have Monday at 2 p.m. available I'm sorry I'm gonna have um, since the webinar is available every day I'm gonna have Monday at 1 p.m. available then I'm also gonna see Tuesday at 2 p.m. is also available or Tuesday at 1 p.m. is also available or Wednesday at 1 p.m. and I can actually just pick a time that works for my schedule since this webinar is offered basically every day um, and you can change those settings however it works for you however often you want customers to be able to sign up for your register for your webinar they'll have options when they sign up based on what you said here um, and so now that it's live this webinar is happening on these days whether or not I touch this tool ever again so all I need to do to get people to come to my webinar is share this link to the registration page invite people to your webinar take this link go create ads um, people can click on your ads and you can just run those ads forever and people can click and they can since we made it so that this is available every day they can click and they can register every day and you don't have to do anything they're going to join your automated webinar experience they're going to experience the video that you have in there and all the live features that you put in there and you can just sit back and re relax and your webinar can do the selling for you um, if you want to embed the registration button onto your website you can do that or send people a direct link to the live room um, and you'll have your own as a presenter if you ever want to go into the the live control room there you'll get your links here and um, and you can replay the recording as well so it's super easy to do it is a game changer in terms of automating your sales funnel um, it's super powerful and easy to use so go check out ever webinar um, it's one of my favorite marketing tools out there, so I know you'll like it. Thanks for listening.